Have you ever heard the phrase self-licking ice cream cone before? No, sir. Let me explain to you what a self-licking ice cream cone is, Mr. Vassar. A self-licking ice cream cone is when a bunch of employees at the Attorney General's office begin to suspect their boss. They read it in the media. They believe what the media says. They report it to the FBI. And then the media reports that you went to the FBI. That's a self-licking ice cream cone. Attorney General Ken Paxton's defense claims the whistleblowers had no reason to go to the FBI. Did you tell Ken Paxton you were going to the FBI? Yes or no? I cannot answer that question with a yes or no. Witness, you'll answer the question. Yes or no, Mr. Banger provided him with ample opportunity. That's not what I asked you. Did you tell Ken Paxton you were going to the FBI? Yes or no? We gave him ample opportunity. That's not what I asked. Objection, non-responsive, Your Honor. I'd ask that he answer the question before him. Witness is ordered to answer the question, yes or no. The FBI came up many times in court Thursday for different reasons. The defense claims Paxton's executive staff went straight to the FBI with their allegations of misconduct without talking to their boss beforehand. Or have you heard you're being referred to by the Attorney General, all of you as rogue employees? Yes, sir. What was your reaction when you heard that allegation? The statement of being rogue is contrary to the years that I dedicated my life to the state. What would be your response to the suggestion that you folks were sitting around there cooking up a mutiny against the Attorney General of the state of Texas? As in we were... I, I, that would make no sense to me. We were trying to protect the attorney general as much as we could. Meanwhile, the prosecution claims Paxton went around the FBI to give Austin developer and political donor Nate Paul sensitive information to help him in his lawsuits. He asked us to review the file. He asked us what, what our interpretation of the file was. He told us that he had spoken personally with Mr. Paul. He said that he believed that something bad had happened to Mr. Paul. He felt that Mr. Paul was being railroaded by the FBI and by DPS. And General Paxton said that he didn't trust law enforcement. Uh, he asked us to find a way to release the information that had been requested to be withheld. He asked me if he could obtain a copy of the DPS file. Did you provide him the file? Yes, I did. Vassar says Paxton directed them to release the briefing, but it's alleged Paul was able to get his hands on the entire file through Paxton. They may have gotten the information from some other way. Yes, sir. But there hasn't been any hard evidence presented yet to show Paxton handed over the file. I want to get this straight. You went to the FBI on September 30th with your compatriots and reported the elected attorney general of this state for a crime without any evidence. Yes? That's right. We took no evidence.